But the graph that is extremely popular in the exam is the parabola. Not that the straight line isn't so popular, but the parabola is asked quite a lot. And I am going to focus on the parabola for a few minutes and then we're going to see what happens. Some of you are also asking, ma'am, how is this done with the parabola? Here we go. I have this in front. I want you to take down this example quickly. You have it in your resource packs, but it is y equal to a x squared. Can I ask you something? Why is this a parabola? Why is this an equation of a parabola? Do you know the answer to that? Why is this a parabola? It is a parabola because it is to the power of 2. Your straight line was just to the power of 1. It's a linear function. The straight line is a linear function. This is a quadratic function because it's to the power of 2. I am now slowly going to lead you into the parabola. The first thing that I ask by example number 1, sketch the graph of f of x, which is negative 3x squared, and give the domain and the range. Again, give the domain and the range. Let's first sketch this graph. I've got f of x is equal to negative 3x squared. Grade 12, if I give you just about 5 seconds, don't you just want to SMS me and tell me what method are you going to use to sketch y equal to minus 3x squared? What method are you going to use to sketch negative 3x squared? I give you 2 seconds just to reply quickly. Are you going to use a turning point? Are you going to use 2x intercepts? What are you going to do? to sketch y equal to negative 3x squared. Do you have an idea? Do you know what to do to sketch this graph? y equal to negative 3x squared. I'm going to use the table method. What in the world is a table method? Can we do it together? I have my table, everybody, my x, my y. Look at my table. I want you to draw your table with me. I want this to be an interactive lesson. A lesson where you don't fall asleep, where you all focused. Everybody is drawing their table with me. One, two, three, four. I've got four blocks. Everybody, you take a x and you take a y. You take the points negative one, naught and one. Now I want to ask you, grade 12's do you realize that the only way that you can sketch this graph is through the table method because you do not have a y-intercept? I don't have plus 4 there. I don't have negative 3 there. I do not have a constant. I don't have a value for b. When you just have negative 3x squared, you can only use the table method to sketch this graph. So what you're going to do is... You're going to put negative 1 into the place of x. So negative 1 goes into the place of x. That gives me plus 1. That answer becomes negative 3. You all agree with me. Hey, we all did table methods. Naught goes into the place of x. You're all on your calculators. That gives me 0. If I substitute 1 into the place of x, I get negative 3 again. I can now go and sketch my parabola on this left hand side. Everybody sketch with me. That's negative 1, 0 and 1. Those are my x values and every x value has a corresponding y value. If x is negative 1, y is negative 3. So yes, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I've got that point there. If x is 0, y is 0. So it goes to my origin. And if x is 1, y is negative 3. I think everybody, at this point in time, you've plotted your points. Can we sketch the graph together? My graph looks like that. I'm sure your graphs all look like that there. Why are these arms of this parabola going down? It is a sad face, not a smiley face. It's going down because there is a negative in front of A. Remember, that is A. This is your A here, and your A is negative. If your A is negative, your arms go down. 
If I just look at the, S, the SMSs, it says, ma'am, I'm going to use the table method. Yonella says, ma'am, I'm going to use the table method. Somebody says he's going to use the intercept method. You can't make X naught and Y naught. It is not enough because then you're just going to get zero and zero. What are you going to do with one point? You need more. That is why for this graph, if you do not have a Y intercept, we use the table method. Now it says... My graph is going down. The arms are going down because that value is negative. I've got my graph and we are ready to go look at the inverse. Remember you said, ma'am, ma can I do this with the parabola? Let's look at that. I'm going to keep my graph here so long and I want you to see. Find the equation of F inverse of x. Oh my goodness. Find the equation of f inverse of x and sketch on the same axis system. Find the equation of f inverse of x and sketch on the same axis system. What must we do to find the inverse? Just think, I must make my x y and I must make my y x and then I have to get y alone. Put those steps in your head. Make x, y. Make y, x. And then we get y alone. Everybody, I want you to work with me. So my equation at this point in time is y equal to negative 3x squared. Remember, we just sketched this. We just sketched this and we did the table method. That is great. I'm about to find f inverse. Okay. Y must become x x must become y beautiful so now grade 12 are you done can i ever leave a graphs equation like this x is equal to negative 3 y squared can i no i have to get y a loan okay what are we going to do first everybody work you're thinking i'm first going to divide by negative three and i'm going to divide by negative three on this side as well now i have y squared is equal to grade 12 if you have x over negative three is it the same as negative a third x yes it's true hey is y alone already no, you still have a square. How do I get rid of the square? I take a square root on this side. But now all of you must be chatting to one another, must be telling your teacher, I hope Mrs. Splinter remembers that she must put down plus minus. I know you all asked that question. It must be plus minus the square root of negative a third x. Y plus minus, if ever this is an even power, if this is an even power, you're always going to have plus minus. Even if that square is a 4, a 6, a 8, it's always plus minus. Now I want you to look at that. Negative a third x. This is the equation of f inverse of x. How Beautiful is this equation. And you all must ask me, ma'am, are you allowed to have a negative in your root? You can't have a negative in your root. That is not allowed. You are going to get an error on your calculator. Now listen, if I take this x away, then I am just going to have, if I take the x away, what am I going to have? I'm just going to have that. That is definitely an error. Put it on your calculator. Your calculator is going to say error. But now, the minute I put down that x, remember x is a variable. x can be anything. So if x is negative, a negative times a negative gives me a positive. Making the square root defined making this square root defined because x is a variable. Take that x away. Of course it is wrong. Put that x there. x is negative. 
negative times a negative is a positive. Now, we found the inverse equation. We want to go sketch the inverse graph. I'm so excited for you to see what this inverse graph is going to look like. Right, let's go look. How do I sketch? How am I going to sketch this inverse graph? Grade 12, listen. This point is 1 and negative 3. You all agree with me. Hey, where did I get that 1 and negative 3 from now again? From my table method. This point is negative 1 and negative 3. Now, when I did the straight line with you, I said, guys, all you have to do is to swap your points around. For this step, concentrate well. Again, focus. I'm going to swap this point, naught and naught. I'm going to swap this point, 1 and minus 3, and I'm going to swap this point, negative 1 and 3. Do you understand when I say swap? We interchange. X becomes Y. Y becomes X. X becomes Y. Y becomes X. What are we doing? What is our goal? We want to sketch the inverse graph. So everybody sketch with me. If I swap 0 and 0, it remains 0 and 0. Hey, x is naught, y is naught. So we've, we've got that one there. Now, can we swap 1 and negative 3? So x is 1. So what happens now? y is going to become 1. Do you agree with me? y is going to be 1 and x is going to be negative 3. So you are going to swap this around. y is 1 and x is negative 3. So it is this point here. Give it a label immediately. I can see that you notice how beautifully we swap this point. So if I'm going to swap this point, let's also swap this point. So here we have x is negative 1. So what is going to happen? y is going to be negative 1, yes, and x is going to be negative 3. I just swapped my points around grade 12 and your inverse graph everybody take your pencils connect it for me got goes through there goes through there and there you have the inverse graph of the parabola